sin, causing people to understand that God's agenda is always on schedule. Can I tell you? Not even the heralds of this world or their children can stop the divine agenda of God. God is on schedule. Because God is greater than your strongest enemy. And watch this. Herod died in office. His son, who was a ruthless ruler, a ruthless Herod, if you please, he had a chance to die in office because he was deposed. He was forcibly removed from office. And I know that there are some people in and around your life who act as if they can determine your destiny. Remind them they have no power over you. And if they say, yes, I got power over you, well, tell them, you definitely ain't got no power over God. And if my life is hidden, God, in Christ, then you have no power over me. For what God decrees over the child of God, it shall come to pass. God will prove that God is greater than your strongest adversary. Because your strongest adversary will still have to crumble, will still have to bow under the sovereignty of God. I speak to some of us who are the arbitrators of such a position. We function as if we are superhumans, we are powerful, we are mighty, and we can control everyone. We have everybody under our thumbs. I want to encourage you from the word of God, be careful. Be careful how you pass your place. Because God has a way of humbling us. Reminding us that we are dust. And unto dust we shall return. You will come face to face with your mortality. And when you come face to face with your mortality, as I do the same, we will recognize that there is still a God who rules over all. And I can never be so big that I think I am bigger than God. There is a God who will prove God's self stronger, greater than your strongest enemy. And that's why I know that's why I know that you can do it. The task that God has given you, you can carry it out in 2020. I'm convinced of it. I know it's too big for you alone, but you don't have to do it alone. God is with you. God is for you. This is the God who will guide you. He will guide you, ordering your steps. This is the God who, when you get tired, He will give you strength. This is the God who will remind you time and time again. You don't need to be afraid of their faces. You don't need to be afraid of their threats. Because I will prove that I am greater than your strongest enemy. For God is our refuge and strength. A very present help. In the time of trouble. I don't know about you therefore. I heard the word that brought us into 2020. Don't stop. Keep on going. I had to look again to God. God, you have called me to do some things. The truth of the matter is. I've been feeling inadequate to the task. I've been second guessing myself. I've been feeling like I don't know if I can do it. Struggling with the demons without and with me. Truth is God, I've been getting fatigued because of the challenges. I have personal challenges. And I have people that just seem anointed to cause problems. Right when I didn't feel like I can do what God called me to do, God reminded me.
concerning Christ and through the life of Joseph. Boy, you can do it. And I want to give you the same gift. Girl, you can do it. Mama, you can do it. Dad, you can do it. My brother, my sister, I know it's challenging, but you can do it. For all the way, our Savior will lead us. What have we to ask the Son? Can we doubt? It's kind of mercy. Who through life has been our guide? Heavenly peace, divine has come. There by faith in Him to dwell. For I know whatever be Jesus. Somebody say all. Somebody say all. Somebody say all. All things done. If that is your prayer today, won't you stand as we sing it? As the saints of old sung their way through. Come and help us sound us all the way.
called by God for a special task. Maybe today you need God to give you clarity, but to also give you grace concerning the call. He want to pray for you. Perhaps you're already in the journey, carrying out the task given you by God. But you're feeling, oh, I've been feeling oh so frustrated, tired, feel like giving up. You say, I need a sense of strength. Strength for today, bright hope for tomorrow. We want to pray for you as well. And maybe just me. Your need for prayer is that you want to make Jesus the shepherd of your life. You don't want to live another day wandering about aimlessly, not knowing who you are in God, not knowing what you're called to do. You want to have that relationship with God where you can encounter Him in Christ as a father and certainly as a friend. Those points of prayer, if that is you today, just going to invite you to lift your hands right where you are so that we can know how to direct our prayer. I need help, I need clarity, I need strength. And if you need salvation, we bless God. We bless God. I'm going to invite those of you who are able, just draw near to the altar. As we still believe as a Baptist community that our movement towards the altar, it is really an act of faith, a stepping out, a causing our bodies to align with our spirits, to say, I'm prepared to take this walk. If you are prepared to symbolize in that regard, Feel free to make that walk as we go to God and pray. We are reminded that if we are ashamed of God here, Jesus says, if you are ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you before my Father. Do not allow pride to cause you to stop from stepping out. Never be too big for God's help. God desires to help us at our points of need. With those who walk the, all, the aisle, for those who, for one reason or the other, yet have their hands extended, though they have not walked, we go to God in prayer. Gracious God, we thank you today for loving us. Thank you for creating us fearfully and wonderfully made our own. Thank you for not giving up on us, even when we have acted in contrary ways, lost our senses, lost our sense of self, have strayed away from your will. Thank you for being patient and in loving kindness, still calling us by name, reminding us that we were created for purpose. Now, O oh God, I pray that you would make known your voice to us, that you would help us to know as we follow you what is the work that you have assigned for us. What are the tasks? What are the assignments? What are the ways we can be a blessing? What are the ways we can use our gifts and talents to minister unto others as you direct us? Help us, God, to know that we are not simply here as common vessels, but we are extraordinary vessels in your hands. I pray, God, that you would make of us a blessing. I pray that you would give us courage amidst the ministry, that you would strengthen our hearts, that you would cause us to become deaf to the threats of the enemy, to the extent that our greater focus is on what you say we can do. I pray, God, that even when we feel as if we are in the land of the giants, help us to know that you still give us the ability to slay giants in the name of the Lord. Help us to know that we can do great and marvelous and mighty things, for we can be more than conquerors by Christ Jesus. I pray for those who stood for salvation, May salvation come to their hearts and to their homes. God, may they walk and walk with you as a shepherd, 
even as they follow you faithfully as your disciples. Lord, help us to overcome every struggle with sin and the cycle of sin. Help us to overcome the power of sin so that indeed we can declare like Jesus declared, we are able to overcome the world. Lord, we don't know what will befall us in 2023, but with you guiding us, we know that we can make it. So help us to stay focused, Lord. And any time we begin to stray, God, I pray you would rescue us, deliver us from evil, so that we will never yield to temptation but that we will continue to trust you as the moments fly, to trust you as the days go by, trusting you whatever we fall, trusting Jesus, that is all. Oh God, thank you for this service today. Thank you for the songs of encouragement today. And thank you for your word of reminder today. God, you save us time and time again. You rescue us from ourselves and you deliver us to our senses. And our senses, when we are in good senses, suggest that you always deserve the highest praise for you are great and greatly to be praised. Thank you, God. We thank you. We thank you that 2023 is already earmarked as the year of victory for your saints. For there will always be the sound of victory in the camp of the righteous. To you be all honor, glory, and praise. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen and amen. For those of you who have walked the aisles before you go to your seat, just encourage one other person. Tell them, I know that you can do. So go for God. But the Wednesday, we're going to do so trusting Jesus all the way. It is so sweet to trust in Jesus just to take him at his word as we prepare ourselves for the table of the Lord.